first test of the governor's new requirement to notify people when there is an incident involving pollution. Clearwater is sounding an alarm about a spill that dumped thousands of gallons of raw sewage into a creek. Now, recent large-scale sewage spills in St. Petersburg and the millions of gallons of contaminated water from the mosaic plant that flowed into the Florida aquifer prompted this emergency rule. News Channel East Peter Bernard is joining us live in Clearwater tonight with some new information about how much raw sewage was spilled. Peter? Good evening there, Keith. About 150,000 gallons of sewage spewed from this sewage lift station starting around 4 a.m. Tuesday morning and lasting until 1 in that afternoon. That's small compared to the millions of gallons discharged by St. Petersburg, but it's enough to cause concern. 150,000 gallons. Yeah, well, I, I hope they get it fixed very, very quickly. <laughs> a pipe under this concrete slab ruptured, letting loose a torrent of raw sewage into nearby Alligator Creek. It gushed for nine hours until crews shut off a pump. What's different this time around is that the governor has determined that all spills, it appears, are going to be noticed the way this one was. Mm -hmm. You know, in the past, there were, you know, the spill of this size, we would have noticed everyone anyway. Responding to the mosaic sinkhole and St. Petersburg's sewage spill, Governor Scott issued an emergency rule requiring pollution incidents be reported within 24 hours. Near the Clearwater spill at the Harvard Arms townhomes, this neighbor likes that idea. Well, I think that's a, an excellent rule, really. Uh, otherwise, the public will never, uh, you know, they may uh, momentarily smell something, but uh, not know who to talk to or... Uh... But this neighbor doesn't think it goes far enough. Well, it would work if it did its job. But unfortunately, it's not because we didn't get notified. City crews have posted signs warning about the polluted water in the creek, and they put letters on adjacent doors cautioning neighbors about pets. This neighbor told me she'll keep her dogs in the front yard or on a leash. In this event, we did nothing different than we would have or normally done. Really? You would have told us within 24 hours? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, he says. Testing is being done to see where that pollution has traveled. The big question tonight is, how big of a spill does it need to be before that trigger comes in that they have to report it to everyone? Clearwater is interpreting it to mean any spill. Keith? Yeah, and we're, and we're sort of a sign of that right now. We're hearing about another sewage spill in Riverview, and, and that's the perfect example of an incident that might have gone unnoticed uh, prior to this new rule. Exactly. There was a spill in Riverview, about 10,000 gallons. That was yesterday. It was caused by some grease that clogged the line. They went down there and cleaned it up. But you're right. We may not have known about it had it not been for this new order. And the governor wants to make it a law. Yeah, I think it benefits all of us. Thank you, Peter Bernard, live in Clearwater.